This little heat pump has been amazing at keeping the house warm and at providing plenty of hot water cheaply and efficiently. But to make hot water, heat pumps will need a hot water cylinder, such as this one. It works really well, but it also takes space that some homes just don't have. This is the mini store designed by Adam Chapman from HeatGeek that we previously tested on this channel. And it works fine for hot water with heat pumps. However, it still takes a little bit of space. This time, Adam decided to push things further. Behind this cover is a completely new design that might let us run a heat pump just like you would run a combi boiler. I don't think anyone has ever tried anything like this before. This is going to be a game-changing solution. This is going to fix the problem of hot water space in 80% of the homes in the UK, if it works. What is it? Is it just a gigantic plate, right? More than a plate, this is actually just a store. But remember, the metal itself can also store energy. Let's give it a try. Let's get it in. <laughs> this weighs more than yeah. the combi, I think. Oh, it definitely weighs more. <laughs> right, OK, over. Oh, look. No way. Perfect length. That's that impossible. Was, um, that was so the measurement worked out correct. There was no measurement. We just <laughs> that was <laughs> off <laughs> that. How is that possible? <laughs> it was meant to be. This is going to work. This is the sign. <laughs> Let's get it in. All right, ready? Yeah. Uh, light two. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that should be good. Because the plate to plate heat exchanger doesn't have a sensor pocket, um, I'm going to slide this down into the side of the insulation. Uh, and in theory, yeah, that fits literally snug and perfect in there. That will transfer the heat onto the sensor. We'll also locate this on the cold inlet of the plate. So the minute there's a hot drawer off, the heat pump will sense it and jump straight into action. We need it to respond as quickly as possible in order to give this a, a cat's chance in hell of like keeping up with the demand. So um, this should work nicely. Okay, so Adam wants me to fit a blending valve on it, uh, on heating side, right? Yes. Why? So, yeah, this isn't just a case of just putting in a plate heat exchanger. Um, the minute the heat pump comes on, if that's circulating here, it's just going to strip the heat out and take it back out of this unit. We don't want any water coming in from, or any heat attempting to come in from the heat pump. So Before we're gonna... it switches the temperature. Exactly. So we're going to return the, the, uh, the, the heat pump's heat back to itself until it builds up till it gets to 55 degrees Celsius. Then that's going to open and then it's going to allow 50 degree water to come in and meet the hot. So your hot will be coming out. So we're using it, it in reverse to what we're going to use on the blending valve for hot water because hot water yeah. is going to be limited. It's going to flow this, the other way. And yeah. that's the other way around on, on this valve. Yeah. This is what I've done. Uh, we've got the mixed on the blending valve back to the heat pump's common flow. So that's always open to and either diverts via the cold port to the hot inlet of the plate or via the hot port to back to its own return till, till it heats up. <laughs> that should do it. And then hold on. This is cold, right? And now our cold is here. Yes. That should pretty much work. I just need to get from yeah. this one up. No. No, no okay. Hey, look. Hold on. I can, from we'll there... We'll just behave like amateurs and use five fittings. I can bend. Hold on. Look. Proper amateurs. Perfect. Yeah. Where's street elbow? We could use this. Of I use. can pull that. Have faith. Can you pull it? Wait there. You All are right. going to have your mind blown. A bit this way. <laughs> Do you? That's it. Look, that's yeah, perfect. That's this, this, and this, and this, and Just look shit, that's all. It's a Hidegi key install, so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. What do you expect? Uh, let's start maybe with cold water supply and see if we don't get any leaks. You've got to leave it in the video if you get a leak. This is suspicious.
It's well. It's, why haven't you got any leaks? Well, well give it time. <laughs> uh, what I'm doing now, I already had a pre-wired sensor because we've been testing stuff here before. We have to bring hot water to a full output on the heat pump because we've been running it on eco. We can see the, the, the heat coming through already. Um, I want to time how long this takes to heat up. As soon as it's up to temperature, we'll go inside and we will run a shower and try and hit eight minutes, which is the average shower time. So it looks like the plate is now fully charged. The sensor is reading 60 degrees, although if you touch it, 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 it feels, feels very hot. Let's see if we can run a shower and what temperature we're going to get from that shower in the bathroom. We want this to run, but importantly, we need to see the heat pump kick in before we get a drop in temperature. If it doesn't kick in before we get a drop in temperature in the shower, then it's not really a combi. It's just a really small store and probably won't be of any use to anyone. So here we go. So we're going to time it and run it with this water saving shower head. I think we're going to get about seven liters a minute from this. The heat pump hasn't kinked. Oh, I think it might just try to kick in. in. Yeah, so it runs for three minutes. Maybe how long? So two, 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 two minutes twenty seconds before. Two it's minutes before in. heat pump kicks in to support it. Yep. That's the heat pump kicking at the end there. Still at forty six, forty five and a half, forty four and a half. Oh. We have to open the it's window now. It is a sauna now. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We have an air source heat pump combi, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Still going at 43 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Did you think this would that work this well? No. Oh, there's no way I thought this No, I didn't realise you could store so, not so much energy on the plate. Three, two, one. Right, that's it. It's run for 20 minutes. It didn't run out. And, um, and we ran it from 45 degrees. <laughs> Between 45 and it went down to 41, but no one showers at 45 degrees. That would like burn you. Um, uh, this thing definitely works. And it works in a small 400 mil kitchen cupboard. I've been running this setup for quite a few days now, and the measure of its success is the fact that I did not tell Natalie, my wife, that we are no longer running on a big cylinder and she hasn't noticed any difference. Over a few weeks we've also run a lot of tests on this setup with Adam Chapman from HeatGeek, testing different flow rates and seeing just how far this setup can be pushed. If you are interested in all the facts, figures and numbers, Adam has prepared a video on HeatGeek's channel with a proper deep dive into the design and performance of what he calls a nanostore. Head there now and have a look for yourself, link below in the description.